up, what up, what's going on, y'all? Let's get it, man. Listen, I love videos like this. I have not seen this video yet, but just the title alone just gets me excited. All right, so today's video is going to be about a young lady that's talking about a broke man's love language. Let's get into it. Let's go. Every broke man's love language is physical touch and words of affirmation. It's not gifts because they can't afford it. It's not quality time because I find that like broke men, they're split 50-50. There's broke men who they like on are on a hamster wheel. You know, they constantly are working like a bunch of odd jobs or blue collar jobs or whatever, and they're not really making much money. So they have to keep working, working, working just to make a living. So therefore they don't have time to spend with you or they're extremely lazy and they just want to like spend all of their free time playing video games. And it's not acts of service because typically broke men are broke because they are lazy and they're not hard workers. And if they're not hard workers and they want to do the bare minimum in, in life, they don't really want to perform an act of service because that would require way too much energy. Physical touch and words of affirmation are free and it's very easy for them to give you, to provide you with those love languages. So if those are his two main love languages, it's highly likely that he's broke. I really rock with the title, man. I really rock with the title. And I would say that the last part is completely true. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really believe in love languages like that. Like, I think that that stuff is a joke. I'm gonna be honest with you. I just, I just don't believe in that love language stuff. Um, now, what I do agree with is, of course, broke and lazy men. Listen, that's that's what they are. I mean, it pretty much says it in in everything. Now, when it comes to acts of service, right? Acts of service. I think that you have a lot of broke men that actually do a really, really good job when it comes to acts of service. Because I've actually seen a lot of guys that don't have the money, that don't have the resources and stuff, they'll take more time in figuring out a free way to, to give like acts of service to someone, to a young lady that they can't, you know, buy those big, fancy, nice things for. Now, as far as us saying, again, you I, I agree, you know, most of those broke guys are lazy. They don't want to put the time, they don't want to put the, the effort and, and the work in to get to get money. You know, that's the reason why they at the bottom of the totem pole as far as finances go. Because, I mean, you know, they're lazy. And I do agree. I also, I also do agree with uh, giving gifts. It's not going to be like no high-end gifts. Like when it comes to them spending money, of course, because they're broke, they're not looking to spend money. They don't want to go anywhere. You know, that's going to require them to spend money. They're not going to offer to, to go out. They want to stay at the home, at, at the house and just chill, relax. Listen, we got to go. If we, if, we, if we can do something, we can go, you know what I'm saying? Uh, do, it's always something free, no matter what it is. And I'm gonna be honest with you. The first, honestly, the first day probably should be free. The first date or the first time that y'all go out, y'all should be trying to get to know each other anyway. It shouldn't be anybody spending any money. But if this is a young lady that you know, what I'm saying you're trying to vet, you know, what I'm saying you take serious or whatever. After that first initial date, she checks off a lot of those boxes. Now it's time to roll it out or whatever. You know, what I'm saying maybe not spend a lot of money, but spend some money. Just to kind of see, you know what I'm saying, where her head is at with everything. You know, maybe take her to a a different spot. So you can see, you know, how she dresses up when she's in different spaces, different areas or whatever. So, yeah, broke guys, they not trying to spend any money at all. Like, yeah, nah, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't going there. I ain't, I ain't trying to go out to eat. I just want to be at the crib. We can go to your crib. We can go to my crib. You know what I'm saying? We can chill. We can relax. We don't need to do nothing. 
they not trying to spend any money, fam. Now, she also said something about, you know, broke men are oftentimes working these odd jobs and stuff like that. You know, are they they're too busy to basically just give the young lady time? Uh, no, I think that we kind of blurring the lines right now because extremely successful men, like they are working. They are putting in 40, 60, 60 hours, maybe even 80 hours per week. Like they really getting out to their doggone bag. And, you know, that's that's the reason why they're as successful as they are. It's because they're putting that time, they're putting that work, they're putting that effort in. And so they tend to have a lot more resources because of the amount of energy and the amount of time that they're spending working. And I understand what she's saying when it comes to like like odd jobs or, or whatever, but I don't know, man. I feel like most guys, most guys that I know that are spending the majority of the time working, that's less time for them to spend that money. You know what I mean? If I'm always at work, what the hell, where, where am I spending the money? Where, where, am, where am I spending the money? And what am I spending the money on? If I'm, you know, always constantly working or, or doing something that's, productive that's earning me more income no those those guys that are doing those things typically have money in the bank i don't know again that that right there those lines were blurred a little bit i, I didn't i don't know what she really meant by that now again the, the lines a little bit blurred right here two things can be true at the same time because you have a lot of guys i'm in the content creating space right and let me tell you, no offense to this young lady or, or anybody that has these talk, type of talking points, you need to understand, a lot of gamers are making way more money than average people right now. Like if you are a, if you are a gamer, you're a streamer or whatever, man, some of those guys making tens of hundreds of thousands of dollars, even millions of dollars when it comes to you know, uh, sponsors, when it comes to their fans, whether they're subscribed, whether they're, you know, buying merch and stuff like that, like you can't automatically, you know, X somebody out just because they game. Cause listen, I game, you know what I'm saying? I'm streaming. Now that channel isn't, you know, monetized just yet, but we gonna get there, you know what I'm saying? I got all the rest of my other YouTube channels are monetized, but you can't automatically X out and say that, you know, just because somebody is spending all their time gaming, that's a bad thing. Like, you got a lot of people that's, that's getting the bag from that. But I want to hear from y'all, man. What do you guys think about what this young lady said? Do y'all think that it's true or is she wrong? Let me know down in the comments, man, and we're going to talk about it, all right? Until the next time, man, y'all be blessed, y'all be beautiful, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Blueberry, Burberry, Bunna Tan skin, mixed race, buttercup Canada, weather, got a bundle up I'm tryna work, she hit my phone, she wanna Whoa, too bad was you know they